Now that you've identified the need to display a salesperson photo in your application, Let's pause for just a moment and understand why you need Microsoft Graph to access this information. So there's a lot of use cases for accessing a user's profile photo. First off, you might have a sign-in control. Once they've signed in, you might display their profile photo next to a logout message, for example. You might have a people picker. Maybe part of the application allows different people that are involved with a sales transaction to be added and then it can send them all an email about whatever's about to happen. To pick those people and make sure you have the right people, you can add their profile photos. You might have a permission mechanism for files and you wanna show the owner of a file or owners of a file. Org charts would be another critical piece where you wanna embed the user's profile photo. And then things like chat messages would also be another area. In the exercise coming up, we're gonna call Microsoft Graph get the user's photo, and then just display it in the application. But these different use cases that you see here would also be really good use cases for embedding a user's profile photo, and you can probably think of some others as well. Now, Microsoft Graph simplifies the challenge of getting the profile photo and accessing not only the dimensions and size of that photo, but also the raw photo data itself. Now here's an example of a Microsoft Graph API endpoint to get a signed in user's photo. Notice we have slash me, which we've seen to get the user's profile, but we add slash photo slash dollar value. This endpoint gives you the image blob object that can then be rendered in your application. To display the image on a web page, you can create an in-memory object from the image blob and make it the source of an image tag or image element. Now, what if you just want to receive the metadata for the photo of the signed in user? Well, that's possible as well. Notice we can put me slash photo. What that will do is return some JSON data about the dimensions of the photo, the height and the width, for example. In our use case, we just want to get the blob object, but in cases where you want to get the dimensions of the object and some other information about it, you can use this second API call shown here as well. Now the Microsoft Graph endpoints are not limited to just the signed in users photo. You can securely retrieve the photo of users, groups, or contacts. So now that we've taken a look at the APIs, let's jump into an exercise and see how we can put this into practice.